Hello beautiful friends, this is Erica with Crystal Rose Insights. Here to do an energy update um, for the Divine Masculine Collective and the Divine Feminine Collective. And I'm going to take a look at what's going on with the Divine Masculine, what he's working, what he's got going on in his life, his overall energy, his mental energy, his heart space, how he's relating to Divine Feminine, what he's currently working on. I'm going to look at the same things for the Divine Feminine here. So we're going to get a sense of where they are. And again, this is a general reading for the collective, so um, take whatever message resonates for you and leave the rest, simply because sometimes spirit brings through the messages for a very clear, specific segment of the collective, and other times they will bring in multiple messages because they know there's a wide variety of people watching. So it is my aim with every reading that no matter how you got here, where you're at, that you will get one very specific message specific for you. And um, and that's the universe's way of bringing you the messages when you're intended to hear them. Um, so it doesn't matter when you watch this reading or versus when I recorded it. So we're going to take a look at that. Real quick on the announcements, though, um, I've been working hard behind the scenes. I've got a lot of new things coming. I'm really having an expansion of my business. It's not even really an expansion of this business. It's more of a blending of all of my uh, bodies of work into one. Of course, this being one piece of what I do. Um, so I'm super excited about that. So stay tuned for more things coming. You have may have seen me do some special topic videos um, here recently uh, on other topics besides just, um, you know, love and soulmates and twin flame relationships and just really growth. So keep an eye out. Those are going to be coming and I'm working really hard on rolling that out behind the scenes, so I'm really excited about that. I know some of you guys had really liked the, I'm moving more into the couple different topics um, that I've done in the past, like the conscious parenting one um, that I did about parenting through divorce. That's a big one. It's one of the big areas that I've got a background in and as well as conscious health and healing. Um, been doing that for over 15 years now uh, professionally. And so I'm going to be blending all of that into this space. So I'm going to still be doing this type of work as well, but there's going to be more coming. So just a heads up on that. And um, to each and every one of you guys, welcome to this channel. Every one of you that is sharing the space for positivity and empowerment. Appreciate each and every one of you. Um, guys, and I do have to say, I have been doing some kick-ass, amazing sessions with clients this week. Um, I've had a number of healing sessions. I've done those energy healing sessions and I have to hand it to you late to you, to you people. You know who you are because you've done them with me. You are magical and powerful. The work that I've seen clients do through these healing sessions is awe inspiring. Coming at some of the deepest of the deep of their core, their core unconscious limiting beliefs, their, um, emotional, um, wounds, their their subconscious beliefs about themselves that developed long ago and it's like it's just been cleared and moved through and I just want to say you guys are doing the work and it is not easy and it is beautiful. So I just want to give a hats off to my clients that have just been, you know, you really inspire me um, to continue to do this work because it's really magical to see it. So um, if you want a private reading with me, um, or an energy session, all of the information is down in the description box below. And this is a longer intro than I typically do. Um, but I feel like I haven't been on the channel for a while and, uh, because <laughs> I've been so busy with other stuff, I feel like there's so much to tell you, but I'm just going to get going into the reading. Um, <laughs> so let's see what's going on with the divine masculine right now. And, um, by the way, this is an apophyllite. I always start my readings with a crystal. This is an apophyllite chunk I have. I have lots of this around my house. I love this stone. This is a clear apophyllite. And what this supports is the connection with the interdimensional realms. It can help with the angelic realms, communication, it can help improve psychic vision. Um, but it's really about connecting to the multidimensional, the multiverse as we call it. So um, if you want to look up the metaphysical meaning of apophyllite, you'll likely get some other messages as to why it's here to support this reading. So 
I'm going to move this over here. Let's see what's a divine masculine. What's going on with him right now? Okay, so right away we're getting these two jumping out. The Eight of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. It does feel like there's a lot happening right now, a lot happening quickly um, with the Divine Masculine. He could be in a place where he's really concerned about money or things are happening. Um, he has some uncertainty in the financial world right now. Maybe he's um, making career changes or thinking about making a career change. Maybe he is moving to self-employment. There is an energy coming through. So there's a couple different energies coming through right away. Um, and there just could be a lot happening at once. So if he's been in a place where he's been worried about money, um, it could be that things are really picking up right now and things are starting to happen. You know, after the summer with the retrogrades, it does feel like there's a forward movement and action, things starting to happen. This is the time of the harvest, all right? So um, he could be harvesting things that he's done um, in the past. This could also indicate that he's in a place where he is... You know, maybe there's been some communication back and forth or between you guys. Um, there could be some messages going back and forth. And he might be feeling really worried that he's kind of blown it with you. Uh, because this Five of Pentacles is feeling like you're you're kind of left out and, and you're sort of woe is me. And, you know, it's difficult. It's needing to ask for support. It being not like too stubborn to ask for support. So it could be that there's definitely um, some movement in the any communication or energetically between the two of with the divine masculine and divine feminine. Um, <clears throat> that's making him be concerned that like he's somehow messed missed it. Um yeah, okay, so this is his overall energy right now. Um those two jumped out. I was just going to pull one, but those two flipped out. So, and again, being a general reading, <clears throat> there are, um, a few different mess, a lot of different messages coming through. So I'm going to do the best I can to just communicate all of them. And, um, and also I read the cards in many different ways. So if you're a tarot reader that's very by the book you know you might get different interpretations of these cards and if you're watching this video and you get a different message based on what you're getting absolutely like take the message that resonates for you if it's you seeing it you don't have to take my interpretations of it i just don't read cards the way that you know other people do necessarily because it's is there i'm really channeling this information and so the cards are just a tool and I can see the same card a hundred different times and interpret it many like a hundred different ways based on the energies that are coming through. So I hope that makes sense because <clears throat> sometimes people are like, why do you usually read that card like that? And it's like, you know what? I, this is how it comes through for me. So <laughs> anyhow, um, I know other readers have that situation as well where people decide to be critical of like, I actually don't get a lot of that, which is beautiful because you guys are awesome, but I'm just commiserating with my fellow, um, amazing healer readers channelers that I, I feel you I feel you and I'm with you all right let's see what the divine feminine's overall energy is right now oh this card wants to jump out justice hello so she's in a place where she's wanting some balance she's coming more into balance in her life right now um there's this energy of wanting to do the right thing there's an energy of just feeling like okay things have to be in balance I want my life to be in balance <clears throat> It feels like this is for some of the Divine Feminines who, you know, perhaps have been really learning about their journey, their path, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, possibly identifying with either, you know, a soulmate partnership or a twin flame partnership, um, and really feeling like they were really absorbed in that energy of learning about it, and then now it's coming through as more of like, okay, I just got to get my life in balance, I'm going to do my thing, and the right thing's going to happen, um, there could be some energy here coming through for some of you of dealing with the legal system. Of course, anytime the justice card comes up, that could be, um, you know, something going on in the legal system. It could mean um, a court case. It could mean, uh, you know, a divorce, a custody issue, something like that. So there could be something coming up for some of you around that. Um, and if that's not happening for you, it's really just talking about things coming into balance, karma, um, just, you know, doing the right thing. Um, 
And it could feel like, because I'm, I'm, they're pulling me right over here right now. So if you've been in a situation where there's been messages and, you know, your Divine Masculine is feeling like, crap, I might have blown it. I'm, I feel like I'm being left out in the cold. It's because you're like, mm -hmm, like I'm, you know, I've been in this and whatever. I've been in this and it's time for things to come in balance. I, and she's not doing it to be manipulative. If you're ever doing anything or communicating anything because you're angry or you're frustrated, that's not what this is talking about. Okay, this is for healthy dynamics. This is for mutually respectful relationships that go through their ups and downs, of course. But this is not for an unhealthy dynamic or someone who's coming from an ego energy of like, mm-hmm, you were not you were not nice to me before, so now you're feeling kind of crappy. Well, you should feel crappy. That's not what you this journey is about. Um, so this is really more coming from a higher consciousness. Whereas there is some place where, you know, the divine feminine does when she comes into our power, she comes into more balance. She's more focused on herself. She's, she's focused on what she's doing, what her passion is. She doesn't care as much about what's going on with him, but he's feeling it energetically. He's kind of like, whoa, he doesn't feel her presence as much because she's more centered. And it's actually a good process for divine masculine to go through. Um, because they've got to step up, and part of them stepping up is feeling a little uncomfortable with needing to face their fears and their limits and what and what they're working through. So let's see where the Divine Masculine is in his headspace. Oh, of course, let's see that? The lovers just jumped out. Yeah, he's feeling this way about, he's really thinking about love. What does love mean to me? What do I want? This can be, um, you know, what does, what do I want from a love relationship? So... It could be that they're living in a place where they just have been in a karmic situation or another long-term relationship and it's just not fulfilling them emotionally and they may be really struggling with this. So they might be feeling like, ah, oh, what does this mean? What do I do? But he's definitely got love on his mind. This can also indicate the, the need to have, um, he might be having, like making a decision about, okay, that's too many cards. Sorry guys. Um, Maybe needing to make a decision around love or between two partners or two paths. But this is really, this is like top of mind here is lovers. What does this mean? This isn't just, oh, I want a relationship. This is like, this is soul level, deep, deep, deep. What do I want from love in this incarnation? Okay, let's see where he is in his heart space. Uh-huh, there it is, guys. He wants this. Ten of Pentacles. He is completely wanting this happy family. So his head, his head is even, his, his conscious mind is really thinking about the spiritual dynamic between you guys, spiritual truths, aligning with his soul, his spiritual purpose, what he's here to fulfill. And if he's been living in a life that's not been fulfilling or emotionally fulfilling or challenging enough to him because the divine masculine has so powerful but if he's in a place where it's safe it's a safety zone it's a safety net it's like not stretching him in any way he's not living up to the divine masculine potential he's just kind of living a eh, sort of like whatever kind of a life but his heart really wants the stability his heart is his heart is informing his head right now um which is fascinating because I would have thought it might have been in the reverse, you know, the Ten of Pentacles wanting happy family. But no, this is like his heart is celebrating the fact that his head is here. Pretty awesome. Let's see where the Divine Feminine is in her headspace. she is in her conscious mind space is the eight of cups yeah she's she's some of you guys might be really kind of pulling back your energy sort of pulling away from you know worrying about him or what he's doing um you do want more meaning than what has been showing up you know the eight of cups is about moving on walking away to something more meaningful not putting up with less than okay which is where, compared with this justice card, it's very clear that there's some of the divine feminines that are like, you know what, however it's been with us now is not emotionally fulfilling to me. And so I'm going to do what I need to do to change it, which is really just turning the focus to yourself. Focus on you, all of the things. So you're in this place where you're kind of 
Maybe you've thought about moving on. Maybe you have moved on from your divine counterpart and are just starting to live life. Maybe you're going out on some dates with other people. You know, every situation is different. Um, but there is an energy of really wanting to move on because emotionally where you're at, it's not feeling very... <clears throat> It's not bad where you're at, but it's not, you know, it's not the Mac Daddy of where you want to be. You know, I think so much we're taught, oh, it can't really be like that. Oh, okay. you have to settle for a little less than because it's nobody has like it all so great. And every relationship has the ups and downs, of course. But there, it, that amazingly emotionally fulfilling spiritual partnership of divine masculine and divine feminine is magical. Not without its challenges, of course, but it's like the highs of the the the, the energy and the, the power of that combination is worth everything. So some people might be fine with 8 out of 10, but you deserve 10 out of 10, really. Let's see where she's at in her heart space. The lovers, yeah. <laughs> Yay. So she's also getting the lovers card here. She's really thinking about what she wants in love. What does she deserve in love? Her heart is leading her because her heart knows. Her heart really knows that even this moving on energetically and focus, changing her focus, things coming into balance is necessary for her ascension. It's necessary for her awakening, the next phase of her awakening. And she, you know, it's like having the faith that she will have this love or a love that is beautiful and, and that she's worthy of it. So we're getting some mirroring happening here with these guys. All right. Well, I'm going to pull an overall, I'm going to look a little bit at the um, combined energies, like the union energies here. <clears throat> and guys, I am going to, um, if this is resonating for you, I am going to continue this reading. I do a really in-depth reading over on Vimeo. Um, so if this feels like this is for you, then, um, I'm tuning into your, your dynamic and, uh, we'll get, we're going to get more into more in depth over there. Okay. I'm just going to take these. Look at this. I was just going to pull one, but these three flipped out. So I, I'm just going to go, um, <laughs> So the energies and the dynamics, so this is the shared energies, combined energies of the union, okay? We're getting the four of wands. I mean, this is the card of ultimate happiness, stability, marriage, abundance. You know, we're getting the ten of pentacles here. We're getting the four of wands here. We're getting the justice here. We're getting a lot of symbolism here of twin flame, of 11-11, of manifestation. But there are some sleepless nights happening here with this nine of swords. This is about, like staying up at night, being worried, um, but it's developing the spiritual strength because um, we're getting the strength card too. So what this is telling me is that in this union energy, there is this clarity of the abundance, but in order to get to this abundance and to this stability and this happy family life of the four of wands that can indicate potentially marriage down the road, um, but it just indicates stability, happiness, abundance, is that you've got to work through these last fears um, and it's developing your spiritual strength. It's happening for both counterparts. Um, and I love that Divine Feminine has pulled her energy back a bit because it's it's a part of the process. It's, ne it's necessary to happen. It's a necessary part of the process. She's got to pull her energy back <clears throat> in order to create this space, this, this more, this tension. If she's here and she's always kind of going this way towards Divine Masculine, He's never going to have to sort of step up in terms of do like face his fears that keep him up at night, have him be worried. So he's, he's more worried than she is right now. He definitely feels like he's a little nervous. He's not really sure he's feeling, um, it's like he knows what he wants, but he doesn't know if he can have it. It's like, he feels like he might be missing it because she, cause she's pulled her energy back, but it is developing the spiritual strength. See how the divine feminine here. She's taming this lion who's the king of the animal, the, you know, the king of the beasts. He's the head of the food chain, the animal kingdom. And she's just like, no, I got you. I'm stronger than you. You might be mighty in physical force, but I'm actually way stronger. And this is just developing spiritual strength. So 
Alrighty. Well, those are the overall energies here. It definitely feels like an interesting time for the dynamic. Um, so what I'm going to do now is hopefully this has helped you and supported you. If this has been resonating for you, um, I'm going to be going over to Vimeo to do the extended reading. We're going to take a look at more energies in the union energies. We're going to get into uh, romance angels, how they're relating to each other, what they're thinking and feeling about each other. What's the advice for each of these counterparts and what they're currently working on to break free of. So that's going to be over on the Vimeo channel and it's intended as, you know, if this is resonating, this is almost like instead of doing a personal reading with me, you can just head over to Vimeo and grab um, the extended reading over there because you may not need to do a personal reading if this is totally re resonating for you. Um, so with that, I wish you guys much love. And um, if you would like a private reading with me, that's the way to get very clear to specific messages on your situation. Um, the information is down below. And again, stay tuned. I'm going to have a lot more expansion here on this channel with more topics. Um, besides just love, but really all of the um, areas of my professional life are all going to be blended together. So I'm super excited. I'm not going to reveal it yet, but when I do, I'm just, I'm thrilled and I can't wait to bring it all to you. So with that, I send you guys so much love until next time. Bye.